Okay, should we have a look at these answers then, just to check that you remember what we were doing last term. So it's all about simplifying algebra. So a few of you, I remember in your homework books you were making the mistake, some of you are still doing it, so we'll check. Tabitha, right, so A plus B plus B plus A plus A, what does that simplify to if we collect the like terms? It simplifies to A times 3 plus A times 2. Okay, so how do we write that properly though? Millie? Um, a, 3. Sorry. Uh, 2, sorry. No, sorry. Um, 3A plus 2B. There you go. E. So you're technically okay, but we, we write it like 3A, 1, 2, 3, plus 2Bs. So those of you, Nico, that wrote down to the power of instead, probably need to change your answer now. Yeah? So if I put A times 3 plus B times 2 on an exam, would it be much correct? Well, it depends. So for instance, if I'm doing a test on you now, okay, I would be expecting you, because I've told you, that's the way we write it, to write it like that. If you wrote that, part of it's right, the other part's wrong. So you might get one out of two marks or something like that. So yeah? I could pretty much get half marks. Yeah. Because it's kind of correct, but not correct. Yeah, technically, you've collected the A's together, you've collected the B's, we just it's haven't not written it. Correct. <laughs> politically correct. <laughs> We've not written it correctly. Sophie, do you want to do the second one here? Yeah. Um, okay. It will be Sorry, it won't be 3x, 3x plus y. y. It won't be 3xy, no. x to the power of 3 times y. Okay, it will be x to the power of 3 y. Because we don't put the time I signs. Time. Well, yeah, I guess um, x to the power of 3 would be one part of it. Correct, because that's what we should do for... 3x is multiplied together, that's fine. But if you then wrote times y, I guess you're just forgetting that one little bit that we don't put x. Now, the, the thing is, you will never see it written, this one written like that, it won't happen. And you will never see that written in an exam paper or anything like that. So we need to get you out of the habit of expecting to see it. So you need to understand what that means. Okay, so that's why I'd be a bit tough on you in a test or something. Okay, finally, expand and simplify. All the girls at the back, the boys are just so quiet. Jamie, what do you reckon? Well, I don't know what expanding means. Well, I, just, I know what it means, but not in this term. No? Probably wasn't here, you might not have been here. Nico was definitely here. Nico, what do you reckon? What do you do, Nico? Don't swear at me, Nico. <laughs> what, what do I do, Nico? Come on. Just tell me what I do. <laughs> this report grade's going down by the minute. <laughs> Millie! Um, you do two times t. Two times t, so how do I write that? Uh, two t. Two t, good. And Good. Plus 2u. Which plus is that? 3t. Plus 3t, yeah. And then minus 3u. Minus 3u, good. So that's the expand bit done. Now we've got the and simplify that Tabitha said we couldn't do, but she now wants to give us a go, which is? <laughs> um. Jaina, go on, put her right. No, not quite. Five T is correct, but it's... Oh, um, minus U? Minus U, yes. Because oh, it's 2T <laughs> plus 3T, and then we've got plus 2U minus 3 so we end up with minus I don't get how you do the expand part. So we do 2 times T plus U, that's what this means. So we have to do 2 times T and 2 times u. Oh. So it becomes 2t plus 2u. Then we've got plus 3t 
And then we've got, because it's a minus, we've got minus 3 times u. Okay. Right, I'm going to give you a slightly more tricky one of this example. Another expand and simplify. Right. I want you to be careful with this one. So we'll do a times 2 plus b minus 3 times a minus 2b. Okay, I'll let you have a go at that one. Let's have a look at this then. Um, I know you're struggling with this one, um, but that's fair enough. People in year 11, year 12, year 13 struggle to get this one right, purely, but for them it's more a lack of concentration. But you have to be careful with this negative sign and this negative sign. You have to be careful. Lots of people forget to deal with that properly. So, the first side is easy enough. Sophie, do you want to tell me? 2a plus ab. Yeah, that's fine. Then we have this sign sticks with that number. So we have negative 3 times a, which is negative 3a. Okay. Then we have negative 3 times, and this sign stays with that number, times negative 2b. So Millie? Um, plus 6b. Good. So it would be plus 6b. Because the negative multiplied by a negative makes a positive. 3 times the 2 makes the 6. So we end up with plus 6b. Alright. And now we have to collect together. Chabatha. Um, minus a plus 6b okay. plus ab. So we've got 2a. Minus 3a is your negative a. Yes. We've got plus ab, but there aren't any other ab's, so we've still got to have plus ab. Plus AB. It doesn't go with anything else. And then we've got plus 6b, and that is the only b term. Okay. So just to remind me, Millie used to know this, how many terms are in that final expansion? Three. Three terms, good. Right. So we have three terms in that. Right. Do you want another one of those? Yeah. Okay. No. Let me write one more. Um, Mr. Oh, I forgot my new math book in my locker, so I have a book and then a 50 But you don't like this so much. You've been recorded saying I don't like each other, that's just... <laughs> no, it's not Stop trying I mean. to get me into trouble. Right, let's uh, expand this then. Sophie, um, do it in stages with me. Um, 3 Three P minus P Q minus P Q, yeah. Minus six Q minus six Q um plus four Q. Careful. Minus times a plus makes a minus. Minus. So it's minus minus twenty four P. Yeah. What bit did you understand? The whole thing. Well, you understood no, previously. No, I mean, I, under, I understand the 3P and the PQ. I don't understand the second part. So minus 6 times Q is minus 6Q. Same thing as P times 3. Because what is minus 6 times 4P? The minus 6 times the 4 makes... 24. 6 times 4 is 24. And it's a negative because it's negative 6, positive 4. Jane, uh, Nico, turn around. Okay, Nico, collect those like terms for me. I've got P there, I've got P's there. And you got P there. So, Nico. You've got one P in the PQ. Yeah, but it's a different term. The PQ is not a P term. Okay. So, Nico, what's 3P? Combined with a negative 24p. Negative. When 
negative 20. It's two negatives. Oh, it's negative and a negative. No, remember, that's no, not what we do. We start at 3 and we take away 24. I did. So we have minus, yeah, but if we're on 3 degrees in temperature and we get 24 degrees colder, we actually end up at 21. 21. So negative 21 P. Okay? Why is it negative 21? Don't you do 24 minus 3? No, because the minus is the 24. So we have to do 3p minus 24p. We can't change that around. So right if I did qp minus 6q minus 21p. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, it doesn't matter at the end. We'll, we'll get there at the stage. So then we've got those two collected, then those two, there's nothing to collect. Okay. Now, yeah, those can be written in any order you like. That's fine. Tabsa? Um, then negative PQ plus 6Q. No, it's negative 6Q. Mm. Yeah. I thought 2 minus 6Q plus that. But where have you dealt with 2, two minuses in that point? Minus, minus. Oh, here, here. Yes, but they don't go together. Do they? They're different terms. PQ and a Q are different terms. So we don't put that together. Plus, if you have negative PQ and you subtract 6, just because it's a negative and then subtract doesn't make it a positive number, does it? Because in temperature, if you're on negative 10 degrees and you subtract 5 degrees, it doesn't become 15 degrees, does it? Okay. Um, Mr. Paul, yeah? is that 